morning. How are you today? I'm starving. This takes way too long to cook. I'd like a refund, please. It's a slow cooker. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's why I'm returning it. Stupid thing took hours, even on high. That's what a slow cooker does. It cooks things slowly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know. So, can I get a refund or...? Sure, I can process a change of mind return for you now. Wait, I'm, I'm not changing my mind. It's faulty. It's not faulty in any way. It doesn't matter. I can still return it. No, no, it, it does matter. I am a man of principle, OK? Now, this thing here is freaking faulty. I'm not going to sign anything that says otherwise. I never said you had to sign anything. Yeah, good. Yeah, because I won't. OK. And if you wanted to cook fast, why didn't you get a microwave? Radiation. So you thought this was a radiation-free microwave? No. Listen, the science is pretty simple, OK? Now, this little oven here should just heat up quicker and therefore it should cook faster. It doesn't, so it is faulty. What aren't you getting? Look, here's the deal. If I process this as faulty when it's clearly not, then I need to explain why to my assistant manager and he's a real fucking fanny fart. And I'm sure as hell not putting up with his mansplaining for some guy who can't comprehend the basic principle of a slow cooker. Do you think I'm stupid? Huh? Well, listen here, OK, Albert Beethoven? Maybe you should go get your manager and then we'll see how wrong you are. You know what? Sure. You can be someone else's problem. Hopefully I won't be too slow for you. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> well, I'm sorry that you feel that way, but I'm a strong and powerful woman, Buster. Oh, I do accept your apology because I'm also fair and sophisticated. <laughs> What's that? Oh, Chris Hemsworth wants to have dinner. Well, tell him no can do this. I mean, I've got Paul Davis tonight. Yeah. What are you doing? Nothing. Nothing. Who was on the phone? No one. I'm trying to be a girl boss slay queen. This podcast I'm listening to, it says, if you feel powerful, you become powerful. So I was just trying it on for size. Babe, you don't need to change who you are. I'm already perfect enough for both of us. Have you seen Gary or Adam? Adam's off today and Gary just stepped out. Ugh, typical. I need one of them to get... What? Practice makes perfect. This is Sarah, our TYC assistant manager. Good morning, sir. Bianca told me about your experience and rest assured we will get that sorted for you lickety split. All right. Finally. Going above and beyond is not only my duty, it's my pleasure. As I always say, the customer isn't satisfied, I'm not satisfied. And that is all done. Have a tippity top day. Thank you. I wish all of your staff were as helpful as you. You and me both, good sir. This one's a little bit rough around the edges, but under my leadership, there's hope for her yet. Yeah. Your impression was gold. You nailed Adam. Well, the only thing I nailed was exceeding that customer's expectations. You would do well to watch and learn. <gasps> oh my God, how are you so good at this? Customer complaints are no laughing matter. Okay, babe, that's enough. I think that badge is going to your head. What are you doing? Employing some professional and personal boundaries. Give me that. No. Oh my God, stop. Give stop. it to me. Give it to Why me. Why should I? It's mine. <laughs> What happened? What the hell, you psycho? Oh my god, sass check at the counter, please. Don't sass check me. You acted like a wanker when you put Adam's badge on. What? As if I would. <laughs> oh, Jesus! Stop it! I'm sorry, that thing is possessed. Calm down, drama queen. It's just a. It's just a. I never noticed how. Beautiful it is, is that? Helvetica. Be? Winston. Yeah. Uh. 
pretty relaxed there for someone with so much to do. Okay, whatever this is, please just just don't hit me. I'm sorry. Okay, the only thing that needs hitting is the dust on these shelves. So let's get this place tippity top. I'm coaching Discus tonight and don't want to stay back. Who am I kidding? I love staying back. <laughs> is she okay? It's not it's the back. Oh, gotcha. Sorry, poor manager. Come on, you two. Time to lean, time to clean. Uh, okay, this is really weird. Um, you're not like filming me, are you? You're not gonna like spray me in the eyes with that Nothing thing? weird about pride in your workstation. Now, talk to me about your warranty numbers while I'm here. Uh, okay, well, they're, um, they're not great. Let's see how we can fix that. I believe in you, champ. Oh, thanks, Bianca. Yeah. Call me B. Up top, Team Electro World. <laughs> yes. You need to take that thing off. And you need to reassess your tone with senior staff members. Bianca, you just cleaned. B, you gave Winston a compliment. Ah, 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 Jesus, ah. Revel! Ah. What's going on here? Chris Woods, Whoa. we need your help. We tried on Adam's badge. What? It, there's something really wrong with it. Take oh, it. Sarah, put the badge down. No, you don't understand. This is, like, dangerous. Don't tempt me, Sarah. Even though I'm from head office, I want to use that badge to do good. However, it'll corrupt me to perform deeds most evil. Oh. <laughs> Easy. Oh, you've done it now. Mm -hmm. So what do we do? People from distant departments, we're here today to discuss the greatest threat Electro World has ever seen. Never before has our company seen an employee like Adzi. He came to us as a young boy. Grew into a man who bleeds blue and yellow. However, there is a darkness within. A real thirst for power. What is it? The badge of power. <gasps> right. So what is it? One badge to rule them all. Made of gold plastic and a real classy Helvetica font. Ah. Right, but actually, like, what is this? Are we talking, are we talking magic? Or Jesus, who cares? Adam's bad enough without getting his filthy, tiny man hands on it. He'd be unbearable. Well, let's just throw it out. Get rid of it forever. One doesn't simply throw it away. It must be destroyed in the Mound of Doom. Where is that? Oh, it's the fucking skip out the back there. Are we sure we want to get rid of it, though? Maybe we should keep it. Maybe use its powers for ourselves. Maybe if I wear it, I'll finally be accepted. Everybody wants to throw back froffies with the two eyes, eh? Back away, Kelvin! Sarah, you were the first to wear it. It is you who must destroy it. Why? Because? Because. Well, well, I can't do it. I'm not strong enough. You have my pricing gun. And my scanner. And my axe. Why do you have an axe at work? Why wouldn't I have an axe at work? You're dangerous, mate. Come on. I'm not fucking stupid. Thanks, everyone. This is really sweet of you to give me this stuff. Um, I'm not really quite sure I'm gonna know what to do with it. Um, so I think it's just, do you know, it's okay. I forget I said anything. Um, thank you. 
Whoa, easy. Thank you, everyone. It's all good, Calvin. We've got it from I'm here. sorry, Miss Bianca. I promised back there I wouldn't leave you. And I don't mean to. What is that accent? I can't do this. Don't worry, Sarah. I can't carry that badge. But I can carry you. Oh, fuck. No, there it goes. Oh, that's the L5. Oh, oh I knew that would happen. Back up, back up, back up. Oh, girls, I'm so sorry. This is it. This is it. After everything we've been through, I can't believe it ends here. Oh, they're gone. Oh, oh I knew this would happen. Oh. Come on, you lot. Who left this out? Edzie. What are you doing here? You're not working today? No, I know. It's so strange. I was on my way to throw the old plate and suddenly felt compelled to come in. Is that? It's nothing, mate. Sarah? Shit, run. Run. Gary, I think she's... You shall not pass! Oh, Jesus! Oh, my Gaffer! Oh, my Gaffer! Oh, my Gaffer! What are you waiting for? Throw it in! It's mine! No! Fuck's sake! Sarah? Stop! Don't you dare! Sarah, if you were really a girl by Slay Queen, you'd throw it in! Do it. Do it. It is done. Oh. Dick move, guys. Ooh, Helvetica. Nice touch. Mm. Well, what's everyone standing around for? Back to work? Uh, I'm off to piff the old platter. I don't get it. He's exactly the same. What the hell? Maybe it was just a regular badge. Could it be that his soul is so dark, so consumed with company policy and brown nosing, that it had no effect? Oh, you know, more I think about it, a magical badge does seem a bit unrealistic, though. And hate to be this guy, but I'm pretty sure that font's Times New Roman. The badge chose him, for he is the only one with a soul dark enough to weather its burden. That sounds like the most logical explanation. Yeah, 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 no, you're probably right. Hey, who's up for some frothies, eh? It's 11 in the morning. I just had breakfast. What about second breakfast? Ugh. No? You... Ah. <laughs> Pussies. Oh, that's warm. That's been in there all day. <clears throat> I still drink it, though. I'm fucking loose like that. <laughs> 